Fifteen, two. All right, Khan. You know, hey, we back. You know, the screen went off, but um, hey, like we was getting into, man. Uh, hey, the scripture, hey, doesn't pr pr permit uh getting any tattoo under any circumstances, man. The Lord was playing in what He said, man. You know, and um, ba hey, basically we can go into uh some more priest. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let this dude play a little bit more. Just see his see his manners, man. Now, what I mean by that is this. There are some people who just... But that shows you that this guy is a hypocrite as well, you know? He's saying how he want to be a priest every day, man, all right? He said how he want to follow the Lord, all right? Showing you he's a liar, a hypocrite, a deceiver, man, all right? Just looking at this guy, you know? And for all you guys that get fooled up by, the, by his words, man, you know, because this video... Look at this video, man. This video got... Got... 568,000 views and 12,000 likes and 1,000 dislikes, man. All right? Hey, so you got this guy deceiving people, man. All right? Hey, but but, but you people out there, man, you, you love smooth sands more than the truth, man. You would love to hear this this, this God-forsaken uh, heathen tell you that it's cool to get a tattoo, then hear the prophets rebuke you and tell you, hey, then it's not cool to get a tattoo, man. All right? That you can't do it, man. All right, because you people like to follow after your flesh, man. You you are you are your devils. You are uh, your father. You are of your father the devils, like John said. I mean, like like it says in John, like how shot told the uh, the uh, the wicked uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, man. And you 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 so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the same people back today. All right, listen listening to people like this, man. You know, but I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get back into the video, man. Unless you had that precept. We can Psalms, read that one real Psalms, quick. Uh, Psalms 58 and 3. Uh, 50, all right, Psalms, Psalms 58 and 3. Huh? This is Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are strange. It's like, yeah. Psalms 50 and 16. You try that one. Psalms 50. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, I got that one. It's like, we go ahead. This is Psalms 50 and 16. Um, But unto the wicked, God said, what has thou to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Come, on, man. A says unto the wicked. All right. Wait, who is the wicked according to the scriptures? For Job nine and twenty four, man. That's right. The, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. wicked. All right. But who is the wicked according to the scriptures? Hmm. Esau, Edom, man. All right. Uh, Malachi four and one, I believe, man. The scripture says, "Hey, uh, Edom is the border of wickedness, man." Yeah. All right, because everywhere this so-called white man goes. He pushes wickedness, man. All right, democracy, man. All right, his 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 thoughts, man. You know he want to exalt himself as the Lord. You know. Hey, but this guy has 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 no no understanding, man. All right, because the, the, Amos three and seven says he revealed his secrets unto the servants, you know, and to uh, to his saints, the prophets, man. All right, and we read already. All right, and uh. What was that? Um, what was that? Psalms 149 and 14. That 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 that, that the saints is of the children of Israel, man. All right. Hey, so so this guy right here is a, is a phony, man. I have tattoos all over the place simply because uh, they like tattoos. And on a certain element, you'd say, okay, I mean that's whatever. Another element, if you cared about the person, you might ask the question, hey, what's going on with all the tattoos? Because a person could find themselves seeking tattoos out of a sense of maybe self-loathing. Now, of course, I'm not saying that everyone who has a sleeve has that kind of thing, but it is a good question to ask. What am I saying when I mark up my body? That's the big question, as Catholics will ask. What am I saying if I feel compelled to mark up my body? Um, now, a lot of times people say, well, I'm not saying anything. I just, I'm trying to be unique. And I'm trying to be distinctive. Or I, just, I like this image or I like this saying. The thing I have tattooed on me is a cross. Or the thing I have tattooed on me is a verse from scripture. Like that, again, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying it's a great question to ask is what am I seeking or what am I trying to say with these tattoos? Just like you, I would say the same thing when it comes to like, hey, you're wearing that t-shirt. Like, what are you saying by wearing that t-shirt? Nothing necessarily wrong with a certain kind of dress or a certain kind of haircut. It's just the question is, what are you saying? What's what are you revealing about yourself? Bro, what is this guy saying, man? What, what is, is he talking about, bro? What where is, is your beard, bro? Where's his precepts, man? Me 
Yeah. Where is this nigga's beard? <laughs> Man, was bugging me after the whole video, bro. Where is this beer, bro? Hey, man, this guy... It, this guy, it's man. Famous, bro. It's, hey, you people that are listening to this guy and actually agree with this motherfucker, y'all are lost like his ass is lost. Hey, though, the script says the blind lead of the blind, they should both fall into a ditch, man. All right? This guy don't even have a beer on his face, man. All right? Well, he, he, he got another breakdown for that one, too? Yeah, man. Hey man, I'm gonna read this is uh Isaiah chapter eight and verse twenty it says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, man. There's no light in this thing. There's no light anyways, he's not even supposed to be touching or speaking these words, man. He's not supposed to be touching the scriptures, That's right. man. Hey, he's he's wicked. He's a he's a Needamite. Hey, and that shows, man. Alright? His spirit shows that. Alright, why? Cause hey, he 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 he's he's uh he's basically man uh, uh uh mixing up the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah man pushing things that that's not according to the scriptures man all right pushing lies and you can get that right now as a matter of fact uh Psalms fifty eight and and three since I brought out that point man you know showing you that he's the wicked man all right you go ahead out Psalms fifty eight and three the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. He's going here. Oh, come on, man. Hey, the wicked are strange from the womb, man. Hey, as soon as they come out that womb, they're already speaking some lies. Saying, saying some baby stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever they're saying. But these, you, if you even see these little eight of my kids with mm -hmm. their parents, they be lying. So many lies. That's their nature, man. That's their nature, man. Hey, the scripture talks about a leopard cannot change his spots, man. All right, neither them that are accustomed to evil can do good, man. Because cause these Edomites are wicked. They they treat their own people like shit. But the point, I had this little testimony where in my school, I think it was a principal and this other Edomite teacher. I told him, man, he's, he, he is uh, unmerciful, man. This teacher is uh, not merciful. He doesn't give you no mercy. Like, he'll fail you. He'll fail you. He'll fail you in this class like like that man he wouldn't even give you a try but the point is that that he was i was telling him i was explaining that to the principal and he said and he said oh well so someone's gotta be uh, uh like bad but i'm uh, uh i could i could like um how you say it it's like i'm trying to i could uh, Go over him and be more evil than him. Basically, that's what he said. That's what these Edomites mindset is, man. They go against each other, man. And and they go against each other in wickedness, man. All right? You know, so, hey, I'm going to keep going into this video, hey, but, hey, this guy is preaching straight madness, man. All right? It's not according to the scriptures. All right? And, and getting a tattoo is going the fuck off, man. All right? Particularly, what are revealing as your deepest identity? Should I get a tattoo? That's the question. Should I get a tattoo? I remember someone asking, uh, they wrote an article about this, and they said, you know, with our changing... No, you should not get a tattoo. It's going off. Culture and our changing tastes. Yeah, we read that. Well, you want me to read it again? This is uh, Leviticus. Oh, you got that. It was 1928. 1928, Con. Look at it right here. All right, Con. Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in that in your flesh for for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Right. Was that not clear to you, Edomite? The simplicity. It went over his head. He he just it's what these Edomites do now, man. They go complete. They do the complete opposite of what the scriptures do, and they do the wickedness, man. They they go like, Nah, we don't like this. We're gonna change that. So you're basically saying like, right. Uh, the Lord ain't perfect, man. So they, they, you're right. You're right about the choices. You decide whether, whether this is good or not. If I remember the scripture is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them to call evil good and good evil. Because hey, I call it a... Because this is acceptable unto the world, man. Getting a tattoo, you know, something everybody wants. But you know, when you say... um. Why call the 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 things that are supposed to be you know lawful you you the uh, the things that are supposed to be righteous you make them wicked, you know, the uh, supposed to be putting the gates to death, growing your beard, mm -hmm. 
can't even keep that, but you can speak this damn madness. All right, man, that's a good point, man. It ain't just a tattoo, man. It's this whole society, man. The whole, the whole way that the the hey, script says a uh, heir proceeded from the ruler, man. All right, the whole way Esau Edom runs his society is clean contrary to the laws of Yahweh by Shimei Hashem, man. All right, hey, but guess what, man? Hey, Yahweh by Shimei Hashem is coming back, hey, to to set things in order, man. All right, to crush. To crush all you nations that think that you 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 the next superpower, all right, and to destroy America, man, all right, and to set up his saints, man, all right, his prophets, man, the ones that's been out here, a hey, pushing his word in truth, sincerity, all right, with diligence, man, all right, and not speaking lies, man. God, if I could have had on, man, you know what pisses me off, man, the fact that this guy is a so-called white man. That's right. And the fact there are people who actually agree with this guy, they'll be like. He has a point. Man, what the hell with you simple ass jakes, man? You could die with his ass. Hey, the scripture says the heart is deceitful above all, man. But I got a scripture, man. This is the same so called white people that came to here in America. They, they, man, put the southern kingdom into slavery. Then the northern kingdom jacked their ass up when they came over here to, to America. But uh, uh, I'm going to get Psalms uh, 55 and 21. The, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but what was in his heart? His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, man. Hey, these these devils ain't your friends, man. Uh, they'll pretend to be all speaking these nice words, acting nice, but at, at the same time, they're thinking in their mind like, man, how could I mess this guy up? How could I lie to him? Use, use the these deceitful ass words to get you man hey man that's Edom I call it he loses sleep knowing he does, he has not um, done mischief mm -hmm. right, man you know he's, he's talking about this all the smooth things man what you could and can't do hey but you're hey man he's making you go off that's right especially man. you jakes man they, they're listening to him cause hey man these heathens they then the, the law isn't given to them, it's given to the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that's what you people, that's what you got to understand, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got to understand that these other nations don't have the law, man. All right? And so they can go fucking sniff coke, smoke weed, pop mollies, all right? Get tattoos, have sex with an animal, have sex with each other, man on man, girl on girl. All right, they're not giving the law, man. They 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 can't receive salvation either way, man. All right, it right. hey, the son of perdition, man. All right, son of destruction, all of them, man. All right, hey, but you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have have a have a potential part, a hey, of, of being one of the elect, man. All right, hey, if you humble yourself to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the man of the Lord. All right, hey, and and keep these laws and commandments to the best of your abilities, man. The Lord said, man, he came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill, man. All right? And his prophecies are still being fulfilled. All right? And the ultimate prophecy is is World War Three. all right? And, and salvation for the elect, man. Right. You know, but I'm going to read this. This is uh, Sirach, you know, backing up the brother Dewad. This is Sirach 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like it, as I am rusted, so of his wickedness, man. All right, oh, so what that say, man? Never man. trust thy enemy, like Never. the brother was saying, man. Never trust thy enemy. Hey, to you Native Americans, man, they're out there. Of two, hey, you twelve tribes of Israel. You Latinos, man. For every one of you, man. You so-called Negroes. What has, what has this devil done unto you, good man? Look at the history that he has done to your people. Never man. trust thy enemy. That's right, man. You were there for Friday class, right? When they showed that last part of uh, Geronimo mm -hmm. with those fucking sellout coons, man. They helped the uh, the white man capture Geronimo, Bro, and then the guy the guy that the um, that uh those those coons or uh, how they turn in the the other Gadites, one of them was speaking to the guys. And he said, "I will hate you forever." Mm-hmm. You know, he betrays him. Right, he and, betrays him, and he turned in the same. They went the same direction that the 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 mother natives were killing them Edomites, so they were better off. Joining their brothers and killing these damn devils. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Hey man. Hey, but Jake is Jake is foul, man. All right, but it says never trust the enemy for it's his for his iron rusted soul of his wickedness, man. All right, so over time you people gonna see 
hey, that this, these so-called white people in these other nations, all right? And when I say you people, I mean you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Guatemalans, Argentina, all right? Brazil, all right? All, you, you, you are the ones that make up the, to the 12 tribes of Israel that was dispersed, man, all right? And we know that through, through the prophecy and through the history, man. All right, if you don't if you don't get right with Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, hey, sooner or later you gonna see that these other nations and this so called white man is not your friend, man. All right, cause only the the elect man is gonna be protected in that day, man. All right, but I'm gonna keep going. You can hear this guy's madness. There's some important questions to ask before you get a tattoo, cause that's kind of a permanent thing. And he asked the question, he said, okay, so you're talking to a random, you know, 23-year-old or 20-year-old who wants to get, go out and get a tattoo and said, okay, rewind your life by 10 years and ask yourself the question, 10 years ago, what would be the one tattoo that you would get 10 years ago? Now, 10 years later, would you still want that tattoo on your body permanently? Now, if someone says, yeah, absolutely, I would. Okay, great, wonderful, no problem. But it's a good question to ask. Now, the way I like to do it is this. Um, if you have an image you want, like, I want this image on a tattoo. I think it'd be super cool. Great, no problem. Here's what you should do. Just, you don't have to. Just part, part of my advice. Get that exact image, the actual size. Get it silk screened on a t-shirt, or actually on seven t-shirts, and wear that under, as an undershirt every single day. And if after a year of wearing that same image every single day you want that tattooed on your body, then that is a good sign that... That's going to be an image that lasts. If after a year you're like, oh man, I am bored of this image, then now you know. You just dodged a bullet and you don't have that permanently imprinted on your body. Now, I've always wanted to get tattoos. I, as of yet, have zero. And why? Because I know that I'm fickle. I want a cross. Well, what kind of cross? I don't know. I want a scripture verse. What kind of scripture verse? I want something to identify me as a, as a soldier of Jesus. You know what will identify me as a, as a soldier, as a son of God, as a, as a, as a Christian? Not a tattoo, but the way I live. The t-shirt we put on, the cross we put on our neck, or even the, the tattoo we print and print on our skin, it might just be, it might just be too easy of an identifier. Even the ring we slip on our finger might be too easy of an identifier. The hard thing that identifies me as a son of God or as a priest of God or as a follower of Jesus is the way I live. That's hard to do, and it takes a daily decision. A tattoo is a one-time decision. I want to live my life like a Christian. All right, man. Hey, I got to bring out some more precepts for this guy, man. This is um Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord, man. All right? It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. It says, Ye have not visited them. It says, Behold, I will visit upon you the evils of your doing, saith the Lord, man. All right? And, man, this guy is not a pastor of Yahweh by Shmiao Shai. He's a false pastor, man. All right? He, hey, the Lord said he shall give you a, a shepherds that shall feed you according to the Lord's knowledge, man. According to the Lord's mind. All right? All right, and that's the man of, hey, starting with the, the apostles of GMS. All right? On down, man. Pushing in that vibration, that same doctrine, man. All right? Pushing the, 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 the truth of Yahweh by Shmiao Shai, man. All right? This is a false a false pastor, man. All right, and he's a heathen at that, man. This is um, this is uh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, and it says, "Ye have scattered my flock." All right, hey, so hey, I hope you see this video, man. Hey, you you scattering the Lord's people, man? Are you teaching them a, a false doctrine, man? All right, and it says, uh, "And have not visited them. Behold, I will I will visit upon you the evil of your doing," saith the Lord, man. All right, hey, so hey, man, the Lord is gonna deal with you, man, according to your doings, man. All right, and the scripture says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right, hey, the Lord is gonna bring t your worst terrors upon you, man. All right, you was better off being a, a just a, uh, a bugged out white person, man. Hey, uh, mixing Xanax with Coke and shit, man. Going to festivals, man. All right, hey, but since you wanna pick up the uh, the book that belongs to the children of Israel. And at that, preach falsehood, man. Hey, the Lord is going to... Hey, shalak rayim wa aynashim wa haragim wa mashapayim to you and your family, man. All right? And to the rest of you false pastors, man. All right? And you two-thirds that don't want to hearken to the, Israel, to the prophets, the Israelites, man. 
All right? And all you other heathens, man. All right? Because the Lord is coming back to set things in order, man. All right? And, and this type of doctrine is not going to be, be being pushed anymore. All right? If you could, can you go and look at the comments? I just want to see what people say. Right, man. Probably some dumbass comments. Yeah. What are people saying? What we have to do whenever we read the Bible is understand the context. All right, that that guy's ten out of ten. I don't know what that means, but if he's agreeing, hey, hey, we do have to understand the context in certain points. All right, hey, but this this that scripture is plain, man. All right. The beginning of this video is such a dead joke. <laughs> hey, these people mm -hmm. folly too, man. All right. All it says I don't believe in God, but this guy is is really ch charismatic. He could honestly be a leader of some kind of secret, uh, uh of some kind of set or cult. <laughs> Everybody will follow him into the dead when he wears that smile. <laughs> hey, that's right, man. Hey. It says, right. or maybe my kind of humor does not suit here. It says, but uh, I mean, it is a compliment-ish, you know. Well, anyway, he has uh, some good tips, man. Like, this guy is uh, preaching straight madness, but she's right, man. All right, because like Scripture says, our people love smooth sins, man. All right? They they love they love hearing that God loves everybody. All right? He's going to he's gonna allow you to prosper. All right? He's going to allow you to uh, get a million dollars and live on a beach. All right? All right? People... people People don't want to hear the prophecies of how about shot, man, and what's and what's the truth, man? Cause like they say, the truth hurts, man. All right. You sound like a person who is first of all followers of Jesus, not such a Catholic priest. I'm not Catholic. Don't really agree with Catholic teaching, but man, this is good. What? Man, these guys are bugged out, man. Most of these guys are bugged out. You know, I ain't gonna waste too much time on these right. comments, man. All right, hey, but you can see majority of the people agree with him and watched it anyways, man. All right, you got 15,000 15, thumbs up and one thousand thumbs down, man. All right, hey, but like the scripture says, man, it be a uh, 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 many that be born. It's like it be a uh, many that are created for this world, hey, but the next world are uh, created for few, man. All right, so of course these people are gonna love him because he is of the world, man. All right, it says uh, uh, what the scripture says, there be many. Uh, many. Sh oh, I'm many what? Uh, I can't. It just left my thought, man. All right, but basically, man, it's the scripture talks about a lot of people shall perish, man. All right, only a few shall be saved, man. And that day, hey, you can see, you can see that, man. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video off, and we're gonna close it out with some precepts. Every single day, I want to live, live my life as a priest every single day. That's why when I have this on my ring. I take it off at night and I put it on in the morning saying today, once again, I want to live as a priest today and forever. My guess is whatever you would get tattooed on your body, that's more a thing that you want to live than you just want to wear. But from all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. God bless. Hey, man, that guy's a joke, man. All right. Okay. And, um... You can grab the uh, Daniel seven twenty five, mm -hmm. and we can end it off on that. Let's buzz. Got any precepts? This is Daniel chapter seven verse twenty five, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time, and times. And times and the uh, dividing of time. Hey, that's right, man. All right. Hey, it says he shall he uh, uh he shall wear out the saints, man. All right, preaching preaching all his madness, man. All right. And not only preaching all his madness, hey, but 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 what what this what the elites, all right, the so called white men of society do to our people, man. Hey, putting them all on drugs, man. Putting pushing drugs in the society, guns. All right, pushing them into redlining uh, uh communities, man. All right. Hey, you making them work to the to their deathbed, man. All right, because hey, the saints are the children of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a whole, man. All right, 
Hey, but hey, but also, man, hey, we 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 gotta break down, break down, hey, this doctrine he pushing, man. All right, we're not the saints, man. All right, and it goes to say you uh, read read read, brother. Again? Yeah. Daniel seven and um. Daniel chapter seven verse twenty five. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the sayings of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. All right, and think to change times and laws, and that's evident, man. All right, a uh, leap year, man. They like savings, man. All right, uh, all the hey, man, changing the times and the laws, man. Like now, man. Just this is a perfect example of changing the law. Hey, but there's plenty, man. Gay marriage, man. A pedosexual, all right, a all types, you know, is evident, man. That that that. Go ahead, man. Precepts cold. Um, and they and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and times and the dividing of time. All right, and and a hey, the scripture says you have bounds that you cannot pass, man. All right, because a miracle will be destroyed by thermonuclear missile in World War Three, man. According to prophecy, and that, and that's real soon, man. All right. I, I got a scripture because that's Come. adding on to the the book, man. That's adding on to the scripture. Oh, that's right, man. That's a perfect precept. It's Revelations twenty two and eighteen. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. That's right. Hey, if you add, hey, like the scripture said, a man is playing. If you add anything to his, to the scriptures, man, all them plagues are gonna be. Um, he's gonna add them plagues that are written in this book, man, and you don't want that, man. Like the brother said, um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the living power, man. That's right, man. Hey, he, he waiting one day to cut off your first arm, then the next day to cut off your second arm because your ass ain't eight in a month. Or All right. You fall off, you fall off like, like a ten story building and you survive them. Right. All right. Or have a creature that you ain't never seen in your lifetime come out of nowhere and eat your ass, man. All right. Slowly, man. Something yeah. that something that you that just sucks you up, but you can't even get away. You know. Hey man, the Lord is, is is a fearful, a fearful, a fearful power, man. All right, but uh, you were in that verse off. Um, I did finish it. The um, are you want me to re read verse twenty six too? No, no, you can read the uh, finish that uh, that twenty five off. I did. Oh, you read it again, then, Bible Shah. Um, and think. To change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the eight time and times. And the dividing of time. Yeah, you're going to verse 26. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away to this. It's like it. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy and it unto the end. That's right, man. And that's the end all be all, man. All right? Because the wicked got to be taken out the way for righteousness to come, for righteousness to be established, man. All right? Hey, man, and you know, so hopefully the elect was edified, man. You know, until next time, let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right? Double line to the apostles, great millstone, and salutation to all you brethren that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. All right, with charity to the end, man. All right, being a soldier, a saint, and a priest for Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. Unlike this guy, he's a phony. Shalom.